What's up, my bees? It's your king of the bees, too. And today we're going to be doing two trailers today. We're going to be doing Secret Level, the official trailer. Then I believe we're going to be doing um, Invincible Season 3, the official trailer. I need to re-upload this again. Even though I did it, I'm going to redo it because... I'm, I'm trying to make it perfect, all right? Because I got, I got the sample. I did the screen recording for the official trailer of Invincible Season 3. So, <clears throat> trying to do that. Speaking about Invincible, this is a sponsorship before we get into this video. Is if you love Invincible, the show, you'll love Invincible Guarding the Globe. What is Invincible Guarding the Globe? Invincible Guarding the Globe is a mobile game that you can play, I think, on Android and iPhone. If you love the show, the continuity of the show is in the game Invincible Guarding the Globe. So, go play it. I have a blast. I really I really have a blast with this game, man, because ever since I played it, um, I'm really addicted to this game now. Not really, because... Um, I, I really like playing this game because the, the characters are there. Everything from the show that you remember is just there in Invincible Guarding the Globe. So go get it. If you have an Android, definitely go play it. If you're a huge fan of just Invincible in particular, go play this game because it, it let's, let's put Let's put it this way. If you love Marvel Strike Force, you will love Invincible Guarding the Globe. That's what I'm going to say about that. All right. Now, that I got that out of the way, let's get into this uh, trailer reaction, shall we? Okay. Okie dokie. All right. So first we got Secret Level. I don't... I think I'm actually... I don't know what Secret Level is. Maybe I should watch that. I don't know what it is. I, I, I remember seeing just a little bit, like a thumbnail of like Kratos being in it. I think that's the only thing I remember from this. Okie dokie, there's Secret Level. Okay, I see the official trailer. Watch. Um, we're gonna have to go with, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with the official trailer for this, so let's go. But that person who did this thing. Oh man, I have to wait for this damn thing to load up. Yeah, I really don't like when I have to wait for this thing to load up, but it's definitely, I'm definitely, I can't even speak right now. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Is this kind of like... I don't want to say it, but is this kind of like... Free Guy and, um... What is it? Uh... Ready Player One? Is that what this is? Because if so... Sh shit. I think I might like this more. If it is. That's still me. Now that's who I fight. Every hour. Every day. Damn. Oh shit, is that the guy from Mortal Kombat? I don't always win. Oh, okay. How much would you risk? It, it well, oh. Is that Doom Slayer? Damn, there's like a lot of, um... Is that the groundbreaking story? Oh. Oh, it's like a series then. Oh. Really? Oh, this might be dope then. Hold on, the quality sucking ass again. That looks like the guy from Mortal Kombat, I swear, it looks like him. Seriously, the quality sucks ass. Give me a minute. Oh no, what did I do? 
Okay, we're bad. No! No, we're not good! God damn it! I hate when that happens, man! Oh my god, I might not have enough room. We might not have enough. Come on! Don't do this to me, not now! Oh, this, this, this Wi-Fi sucks ass! Come on! Alright, let me just try that again. Let's go back to this trailer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo it again. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, I don't have time for this. Load up! Load up! There we go. Thank you. Okay, so why the hell is it... Jesus, Kiny, there's literally no way to do these trailers without this damn Wi-Fi sucking ass. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo this trailer again. But really, this uh, this looks amazing right now, man. You're telling me that this is like based on our favorite games? I don't. Could that be like based on the game of Fallout? That character. That would, that would, never mind. That's much better. Ooh. Oh shit! it now man really Keanu Reeves no freaking way oh cyberpunk that's right yo oh is that Borderlands I think that was Borderlands I don't know Tales of Borderlands Oh, the CGI looks freaking awesome, man. Ooh, what a catch, yo. This looks freaking dope. Yo. <laughs> I'm with this. I want to see this. This is dope, man. I believe that's Fallout. Oh, that's so cool. There's Mega Man! Yes! <laughs> is this coming out? I don't know when this is coming out. Is it already out? Because if it is, man, sign me up. Please. This looks freaking dope. And it's an anthology too? Oh man, this looks freaking awesome, man. I want to see the Mega Man episode of this, because... Never mind, scratch that. I think I might watch the whole series of this, because it looks so dope. The CGI, the animation style, oh my goodness, man. Yeah, I'm with this. <laughs> I'm with this Amazon Prime. Um, I'm definitely going to give this trailer a like. This was phenomenal. I... You you got Mega Man as one of the episodes of this anthology series that's called Secret Level? I, I'm, I'm going to watch this, man. I think I might watch it, like, today. Yeah. Alright, let's get back into what we were doing. Next trailer. Oh, a big drop of honey for the secret level official trailer, by the way. Because that was... That was so beautiful, man. Where was I? Man, I should have reacted to that trailer when it first came out. Damn, that was so beautiful. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, so... Um... Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. No, come on, man! 
Oh my god, I really don't like when I have to wait this long for something to load up. Okay, can you please load up faster, please? Can you please load up faster for me? This is really... St there we go. Okay, I found the official trailer for Season 3. For Invincible, so... Come on, all I have to do is just wait for this damn thing to load up. If it only would load up, I wouldn't have no problem with it. Jesus Christ, load up! God damn it, load up! Oh my god. This is really starting to piss me off. Come on, load up! Oh my god, load up, please! Oh, thank god. <sighs> okay, can you please, again, what did I say? Load up. Load up. Load up. Load up. God damn you, load up! Okay. Please, for the love of criminy, can you please load up? Load up. Load up. Oh my god, load up. Okay, thank you. No, load up! Oh, that's another one movie I gotta go see, watch. I mean, now it's Christmas. It is definitely the right time to watch Can and Candy Cane Lane. I'm definitely thinking about watching that now. Okay, enough of that. Let's just get straight into this third, this, again. I, I'm, I'm excited, man. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Man, come on. Just load up. Ah. No, what the hell happened to my Joy-Cons? Oh, my God. Come on. No. Why? 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 Come on. Please load up. Ah, 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 ah. There we go, that's better. Damn right it did. This, this season, man, I can't wait. February 4th, oh, count me in. He told me the hell was for Oliver. Cecil, I can never trust you with either Mark or Oliver's lives. Again, no, the song choices in these trailers for Invincible is on point, man. Whoever does the trailers for these, you did a phenomenal job. I think this might be the season where no one might break out of his prison in this season. I hope. And the eye color is different, man. Because the eye color he had, like, oh, I should probably like this because I'm super excited for. I I can't wait, man. Oh no, no! I I I said like, no. Why did I dislike it? Not dislike it, but I decided to click out of the like button. <sighs> um, yeah. The suit with Mark Grace in this one. The eye color is different because the eye color he had with his inventable suit is white for his eye color for his suit. But with this new costume, the eye color is black. So, um, I can't wait again for season three of Invincible because, like I said, this is going to be the best 
season. I wouldn't say best season. Man, I have to rank these, man. I, I have to, man, because if I, I, if I had to be honest, the WTF season for me would have to be season one. Like, going in blindly of this is definitely season one. But also it surprises you. So season one is my number one rank for Invincible by far because it, when you see the post credit scene, you're like, What the hell did I just watch? It would... It was... Was he manipulated? Mind control? And then you're just like... You, all of us were like... Yeah, we gotta see more of season one. And I... That first post credit scene of the first episode, I was like... I got to see the, the whole first season now because what the, the post credit scene alone surprised the hell out of me. Because I was like, I thought for a second it was going to be like, okay, this is going to be like, like PG-13 Marvel movies friendly and all that. And they're all like, you wait until that post credit scene, son, because we're going to. We're going to flip the script real quick. They did. And oh my God. When I tell you, when I heard that there's going to be from like 3C Films, when he said, oh, there's going to be a live action movie, by the way, in Far Invincible. I can already tell you that this live action movie has to be rated R for Invincible. There's no freaking way it needs to be PG-13 because... The continuity of this show, I, I can't even imagine seeing people's reaction to the the carnage of that post credit scene in live action form. They're... <sighs> seeing it in animation, okay. But seeing it in live action, you're going to be like... Yep, that's what I remember from Invincible Season 1. Uh-huh. Good, good job, good job. I was really surprised at how gory that post credit scene for the first episode was for Invincible. Because no one, and I repeat, no one was prepared. For what they were about to witness for that post credit scene. They're like, oh, it, it's just it's just a happy couple just having a picnic. And just... And then all of a sudden, when they go into the headquarters... Boop! It's not happy anymore. It's just like... It, you're just like... That was all of us. That was all of us. Inclu in just including me because I've never seen a post credit scene like that. Ever. But of course when I saw who the producer was, Seth Rogen, I was like, okay. It makes sense. So this is exactly going to be like the boys. So I was invested because just from that alone, the executive producer of S just... Seth Rogen being the executive producer for Invincible, I was like, okay, this is definitely going to be like the boys, but cartoon, like cartoon universe of it. Um, I'll then like for the second season, I would rank it number two because, um. <laughs> You know what? No, 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 no. I don't want to rank it number two. What's the highest ranking? I'm going to have to say I'm I'm a definitely ranked n number season two of Eventable, like, eight. Why eight? Because 
I, I was in the shoes of Amber in season two of Invincible because it's like you saw the 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 fear in her eyes, the tears in her eyes, and she was like, I I can't be part of your world. This is too dangerous, and you're like, okay. We understand where she's coming from because it's like when you see in a, a, a a Viltrumite put her hands on your neck and she just paralyzed Amber in season two of Mentable. You're you're done. The you don't want to do this like relationship anymore. But I'm pretty sure just Margrace and Amber in season two of Invincible or maybe three can be still friends. That's what I can see happening in season three. Now with season two season three I could see Eve and Invincible being together because they're both heroes. And it would it would be a better relationship than what Amber and Mark Grayson is. Because we saw how it ends up in season two of Invincible. It's like this is this definitely won't work out. But their friendship can work out. Not not their love relationship. Their friendship. The love relationship I can see happening is with Eve Wilkins and Mark Grayson. That's the only way I can see that happening. Um I can't wait to see Shave Smith coming back in this season um we still have to deal with that mi the freaking mind hive for season 3 because in season 2 that post credit scene <sighs> the I'll tell you what, Invincible is perfect example for just surprising the hell out of you with its post credits scenes. Because you never know what you're going to get for the post credit scene. You never know. And when you see it, you're like, it's either a good sign or things are going to go sideways. With season two, there's some post credit scenes where you're like, oh shit, things are going sideways real quick. <clears throat> so, but another thing I have to say, man, is the emotional part of the, of the second season with Debbie Graveson, Ricky, um, who else, uh, um, oh my gosh, this is like a lot, give me a second. Uh, with Rex explode because, of course, we didn't like we we didn't like his character in season one, but then in season two we're like okay, we're cool with Rex explode now. Um, with Immortals character, uh, who else? With even Donald's character too. That's another emotional status we can get get with is uh no 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 ricky's friend ricky's friend that's another emotional status of the show we can also relate to because it's like when he had the the just the the nightmare of sinclair of him being changed into this that the robot machinery again it's like fuck um but with Donald, it's like, oh, damn, you, you legitimately have to, like, when you die, you literally get rebuilt as a robot. Every single time. And it's like, not only that, but he's like, he's the only one that says to Cecil to erase his memory of what happens to him. Every time. And it's, that... Right there, we didn't know what was happening in this the second season, why he was still alive. But then when we saw the continuity of the real calculation of Donald and how 
he comes back every time. It's like, uh, that, that's really messed up. But, um, the reason why Donald's still there is to make the world a better place. Just like as Ricky's friend in season two, he's there to make the world a better place. For, like, Ricky, to be honest, um, I, 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 there's so much that I love about the show, including the, the, the emotional status of, with freaking Nolan Grayson, Omni Man himself, because, yeah, it, it's true in season one that he was, I don't know, you, you may, may like him, you may not like him, but in season two, man, they, they, they actually show you that he really isn't he really still cares for Debbie, Grayson, his wife. And he still cares for Mark, his kid. So, in in season three, I'm hoping there might be one episode where Nolan Grayson breaks out and helps Mark Grayson take down all the Viltrumites. Because I, I feel like it's a great i it's a really actually gr interesting concept for this inventable series to go with is you rebel against your own kind that's the viltrumites i'm okay with that storyline because it's like they're ruthless they're brutal they really don't care and you saw that like in season two especially that one you can even relate with Mark Grayson when one of the Viltrumites went up to him and said, either you eliminate some people or we're going to eliminate all the people. And that one episode of season two, you're just like, what the hell is he going to do? How, how is he going to get out of this? Because it's like, you either, it's messed up, man. It's really messed up. I was like, I felt bad for Mark Grayson when I saw that episode. Because it's like, well, well, what are you supposed to do in that situation? Do you either just... No, he's probably not going to do it. But, jeez. I can't wait, man, for season three. I cannot wait. I'm definitely going to react to Secret Level. By the way, I, I got to talk about Secret Level now. Because, oh my goodness. The cast for this anthology series with Kevin Hart, Keanu Reeves obviously because he, he was in Cyberpunk uh, 2077 I believe that's what the game is called um, but freaking Mega Man Mega Man you're gonna do an episode relating to my favorite game and then you got Pac-Man in the mix it's like Oh man, I, I, I gotta see this. I gotta see this anthology series. But yeah, my B, my B community, this was just your King of the Bees reacting to Secret Level official trailer and Invincible Season 3 official trailer. If you like my reaction to Secret Level official trailer and Invincible Season 3 trailer, why not sting that subscribe button, sting that like button, sting that notification bell anytime I upload a new video and comment down below. If you're hyped for Secret Level, if you're hyped for Invincible Season 3, because I, I know I am, okay? I'm ready. I'm prepared for Season 3, because this is one of my favorite shows from Amazon Prime. And, uh, again, if you're having a rough time, um, doing, if you're, like, with a loss or just... Just remember, stay brave and stay humble. Make make the world a better place when you just keep doing what you do. Like, rather it's celebrity, rather you're an artist or a YouTuber or just a social influencer or um, a comedian. Keep doing what you do. Even if you're a voice actor or a voice actress, keep doing what you do and make the world a better place. So, yeah, my B community, this has been your king. Well, wait, I just already said that. Um, anyways, my B, my B community, this is your king of the bees off this 
to trailer reaction video and uh <laughs> Season three, Benchable. Oh, February fourth. Let's let's go, man. Let's freaking go.